And inside the ground, the crowd getting ready for a match that's vital for Gillingham's promotion push. Gillingham, remember, lies second in the table. Exeter are 13th. Gillingham today without a striker Damian Richardson, he's suspended. Graham Knight, a defender, takes his place. And Dick Tideman, their number seven, plays his 200th league game. As for Exeter, a big blow for them. Their leading uh, goal scorer, Fred Binney, is still unfit. But one of the major issues there at Creasefield Stadium on the day will be can the Exeter City defence hold Brian Yeo, Gillingham's ace striker, top scorer in the whole of the league with 26 league and cup goals. Couldn't have a better referee, Gordon Hill of Leicester, and now everybody waits for the start. Tideman again with a corner. And Galvin is there, and it's there! I think it finally came off Yeo, but Galvin, I think, was the man who downward headers, he came up with that corner. There was certainly a deflection. Tideman took the corner. Galvin went in, headed it downwards. The faintest deflection, but the Gillingham players seem content. Fox Hill on the edge of the area. George Jacks on the penalty spot. Brian Yeo on the far post. Jacks. Oh, yes! Jacks header. Did Yeo get a touch? Well, the man they don't see till too late. If he got a touch there, it was certainly too late for goalkeeper Mike Walker to do anything about it. Gary Moore and Tideman again showing those touches, looking to exploit a bit of squareness at the back here, but good covering by Smith. And now the Richardson gets on the wrong side of him. Yeo coming into the near post. Here's Yeo. That's the way he nips in on them. And Gillingham go clearly into a 2-0 lead. An early ball into the middle. Brian Yeo knows what's coming. And for him, comparatively simple job of getting it by Mike Walker.